everybody, we're back to Let's Duel, and you remember my opponent. Yay. Uh, the lucky SOB who keeps trouncing me. Oh, what are we doing? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Again? <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> not again. <laughs> no, not again. Oh, finally. <laughs> you, you kept track of my movements? Yeah. We'll go seconds. All right. Ooh, awesome. Oh, God. Right off the bat. <laughs> Summon my uh, goblin zombie and end. Goblin zombie. If you haven't guessed yet, this is a zombie deck. <laughs> Time to fight the undead. <laughs> Oh, I'm there. Oh, I like your, I like, I like your new card backgrounds. I'm jealous. <laughs> Thank you. Summon Vampire Duke. Vampire Duke. Now my Duke, sick him. Uh, yeah, I while waiting for you, I decided to look and see what I could change to, and that popped up. <laughs> Do you have the? So this is like, is this a newly built? Yes. Oh okay. Do I have what? Do you have uh? Do you have the points to spend on covers or no? Wait, I'm sorry. Do you have the points to spend covers or to get covers or no? Oh no, I don't think so. Eh, too bad. I got quite a bit of customization. <laughs> but I'm happy with Kaiba as my avatar. <laughs> I wanted to I wanna get one of the god cards. Those are like way back there. Yeah, I, I think get, that goes by level. I wanna get the blue eyes white dragon, but it's like ten thousand. <laughs> For those of you who don't know, blue eyes is my favorite card. <laughs> I'd probably do more on here if people were more honest. <laughs> That's true. Bring out my vampire koala. What the hell? What's wrong with my koala? Isn't he cute? Vampire duke attacks. Okay. Vampire koala attacks. Being a little apprehensive, aren't you? Uh, oh, I gain 18 fifth? Uh, no, I do not. Okay, I read that wrong. Hmm. I'm, gambling, I'm gambling that you have nothing down there. Uh, actually, you lost a bit more than 18. Bloodsucker? Zombie? How? Oh, no, you didn't. It's a beast. Never mind. I thought it was a, a zombie. What? Zombie types gain 500 because of my vampire kingdom. Oh. Oh. Alright, yeah, summon Bloodsucker. Attack with Vampire Duke. It gets crushed. Oh. Uh. Attack directly with my blood sucker. Uh uh. Activate two times fast.
Alright. So you need 18? 18. Yeah, seems so. And the top card of your deck goes bye bye. Thanks to Bloodsucker's effect. How do I do that? I just draw and then. Uh, mill. Oh, mill? Don't ask me why it's called mill, but whatever. <laughs> Never even heard of that. I've heard of, heard of it, but. I don't know why they thought that would be an interesting name for it. <laughs> this deck is doing really good. I knew vampires were a good choice against you. Hmm. Welcome to my zombie apocalypse. I'll lay a face down. Attack with Vampire Boot. Attack with Vampire Koala. Vampire Koala dies. And then I attack with Blood Shadow. I almost pushed the wrong button again. <laughs> Mill the top card. Damn, I don't like the sound of that. You. That could have been bad. <laughs> uh, in turn. Oh, now you come out with face down. <laughs> uh, now I'm worried. Uh, Did you choose a color for your sleeve? Yeah, blue. Oh, cool. Oh, thank God. I thought it was something worse. <laughs> Now the moment of truth. Phew. For a second there. I thought you might have had something. <laughs> Screw it, why not? You destroyed my pyramid turtle. Its ability activates. Special summon. One zombie of 1500. Uh, one zombie of 2000. How is that a zombie? What the hell? 2000 of defense less. I don't know how that's a zombie. <laughs> and the monster I bring out is my vampire lord. Oh, God. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and admit the fear right now. Alright, uh, what time are we at? We're in nine minutes. I need to do a match. Alright, should I offer a rematch or should I uh, just quit and get a different. I just did it. Alright, accept rematch. I just had. I had a really bad draw at the beginning and. I should have I should have used my Sakurutsu's earlier, I think. Well, that two-ton mask kind of saved my ass. <laughs> well. Finally. <laughs> I think I'll go second. First time we've had to do a match. Yeah, I know. I 
I got lucky with getting Vampire Kingdom on the first draw, though. <laughs> I'll activate terraforming. This lets me bring out a field. Spell. Oh boy. <laughs> and the field spell I want is. Where is it? Vampire Kingdom. <laughs> Grave with the activate lay one card down bring out immortal ruler in turn hmm we'll go ahead and uh we'll do that Face down. Oh, on oh on the Vampire Kingdom. <laughs> You've toppled my castle. <laughs> that was the best I could do at the moment. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I'm going to use my Immortal Ruler's ability to send him away. And add one zombie world from your graveyard to your hand. And so remember, in the event of a match, whoever wins the oh, two out of three graveyard. gets a point. Oops. What happened? I can't, I can't sacrifice him. I don't have zombie world in my grave. Oh. I thought it said deck. <laughs> Instead... Oh, no, that ruins my whole plan. <laughs> Instead, I'm going to Master Key on Chi. The hell? Attack with Master Key on Chi. And then attack with the Mortal Ruler. And I find it funny because when we were kids, I remember you you despised zombies. <laughs> and now they will be your undoing. Probably. I'm going to bring out Goblin Zombie. Oh boy. You want to risk it? Yeah, I'm going to risk it. Alright, to the grave with him. Master Key on Chi attack. To the grave with him. Immortal Ruler attacks. Got, it, got you that time. You sure did, bro. You sure did. <laughs> Trying to lull me into false security? No, of course not. You're the risk taker, right? Well, I do have the tendencies to attack. Summon Mizuki. Attack with Mizuki. Take 17. Attack with a mortal ruler. I'll take it. I'm not getting any goddamn monsters. Your stall tactics aren't helping you this time around. No, 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 no. I think I finally found a deck that does you justice. <laughs> 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 
So wait, when can you activate spells? On your turn, only on your turn, except if they're quick play. Then you can activate them on mine. How do you know if they're quick play? Has a little lightning bolt symbol on the next to the spoke, you know, like underneath the attribute or yeah, the attribute. Oh, okay, yeah. So yeah, here. Dark hole. Well, that sucks. I'm still pissed off they banned that card. <laughs> Bring out I think I think they just ban banned multiples of it. Did they? Oh yeah. No. Oh, uh no. Deactivation, alright. What's our time at? Sixteen minutes. Mm, that's still pretty low compared to our others. Yeah, but the rule was over fifteen minutes. Yeah. And it's already a match anyway, so. I'm just debating whether I should drag it out or not. Oh. Uh. Because our lowest was eighteen. Hmm. No. Yeah. Well, shit. I'm tired of cursed dragon. The majestic blue has been withered to that. I'm afraid to attack you with, with, without another two tens mask. <laughs> mm. I know usually I'm a bit more cautious when I'm you, but <laughs> I got bold. Bring out that. What the zombie Egyptian guy? Oh, what? Doesn't that be horrible? What, what, what was the what was the movie that they debuted on? Uh, the Egyptian Gods. I'm pretty sure. Or, I don't know if they debuted, but there was a movie that like yeah, they were on. I remember a, going to see it. Yu-Gi-Oh. I think it was just called Yu-Gi-Oh the movie. <laughs> it was in, I remember it was in theaters. Hmm. And then they made that second movie. Bond Beyond Time? Yeah, Bond Beyond Time. I never saw it. I want to watch the like, bridge version, though. It was corny. <laughs> That's to be expected. We're not Zombie Master. You just trying to fill your side? I'm, try I'm waiting to see if I can get certain cards. Because... Despite everything, I think I've won this. Yeah. What, do you just have a plan to... Trying to, uh... Like a blaze of glory kind of thing? Yeah. <laughs> I'm thinking. Give me a sec. Let's see. That's two... That's three, four, five. And that's five. Okay, I think I know what I'm going to do now. I'm going to summon my Plague Spreader zombie, and then I'm going to tune it with my Regenerating Mummy, which should give me six. Let me make sure I did that right. Yeah, six. Sack. They go away, and... 
come on out. Revived King Hadeth. The hell? I hope I did that right. Negate the effects of effect monsters destroyed by battle. Oh man. That could be useful, huh? <laughs> That's like man. Oh That's shit. Like man meter repellent. What the hell? Shit, shit, shit. Is that a mistake? Yeah, I was going to attack. <laughs> Baby dragon. Damn it, I was hoping it was a man eater. <laughs> yeah, Hades really does negate uh, man eaters, huh? Yeah. <laughs> you kept up with your weekly tradition, I see. Yeah. Ooh. Activate Pyramid of Wonder. Hmm. 200 attack for each monster your opponent controls. If there's exactly one zombie type tuner you control would be destroyed, you can send this. Oh wow. So if your tuner dies, you can send the pyramid instead. Mm -hmm. That's interesting. That's really useful, but not t not yet. Oh, I thought you got like a monster or something. There's always been one monster I've wanted to play in this deck. I just need to draw it. Man-eater, while well, this effect is null and void. Divine Wrath! Ooh! Except for two things mask. Alright. Shit. I'll just leave blasting the ruins in the graveyard. It doesn't matter. I'm gonna end... I think that was the last two tons mask I have. <laughs> Why do I feel like listening to Thriller all of a sudden? <laughs> Zombies. <laughs> Activate Call of the Mummy. Yeah. What? Oh, I thought you were going to special summon something. Nah, I can't. Yeah, well, it says you can. I have. Oh, you must control no monsters. Why did you even put lay that down? Just in case. That doesn't make any sense. I'm. I have it on that way. I have it on the field in case you happen to clear my field. Hmm. Have you ever noticed that the pyramid of wonders looks like the pyramid of light? I don't know what the Pyramid of Light is. Oh, it's from that Yu-Gi-Oh! movie you made. Oh. It's been years since I've seen that. Except in that movie, they made Obelisk look really dumb. Did he? He walks up to the Pyramid while Ra and, while Ra and Slifer are kind of hanging back and he touches it. <laughs> and then gets vaporized.
That's not a very smart tormentor. No, he just walks up to it, touches it, dies. Vaporize <laughs> <laughs> and Ron and Ron, and Ron and Slifer are looking at him like, you dumbass. So Obelisk was Kaiba's, right? Yes. And then Um What did I say about those clear the fields? <laughs> <laughs> so Obelisk was Kaiba's Slifer was Yugi's, right? Right, and then Ron was Merrick's. Oh, okay. Blasted Merrick. <laughs> Merrick Ishtar. No birthday presents for you. <laughs> I'm going to. S Ooh. Shit, it's a double edged sword. What? I I have an idea of something I could do, but it would leave me open. Oh, you mean like me? Wait, this might work. I'm gonna use the effect of my call. That's of the probably gonna work. Mm -hmm. Special summon my brain crusher. Right. His, his ability when he's special summoned, I destroy. I can choose one spell or trap card on your field and destroy it. Mm hmm. This one. Oh, whoops. Didn't want to do that. <laughs> then I set this into. And because of Bone, bone Crutcher's ability during my end phase, it goes to the grave. I'm were you hoping. Were you hoping you got a better one than that? Yeah, I was. I'm going to summon my Plague Wolf and activate its effect. Attack become double to attack the end of phase. Wait, what? Wait, this effect... Wait, what? He, his attack doubles. Okay. His attack doubles, and then at the end of the turn, he dies. Hmm. He's like a kamikaze soldier. <laughs> so tempted. <laughs> I'm so tempted to just end it like that. Probably could. Actually, you could. I'm gonna play it. I'm gonna play it so. Last time I decided to take chances when you had four cards on the field, I blew myself up. Hmm. <laughs> Let's see a Lavori Calicard. But Mikey Seal lets steal souls. <laughs> That's a steep. Hmm. Interesting. I, uh, sell uh. my soul absorbing bone tower to special summon my, z <laughs> my vampire dragon. Oh, to, no to normal summon my vampire dragon, I mean. Mm-hmm. And fire turn. I'm going to activate my veil of death. And I'm going to attack. Reveal it and so what? I can okay. show it to you and I get to draw four. And draw this to you. So if you win this round, does that mean we go to a third round? Uh, that would, yeah. Hmm. But I, I don't see that happening. Honestly, if you keep having traps like that around, you might. Well, I only survived this long because you decided to say, hey, fuck it. 
yeah. I want I want to get my Vampire mm-hmm. Genesis out. <laughs> so wait, what's the point of that Veil of Darkness? If I draw a dark card, I can show it to you, and then I get to draw again. And you send it to the graveyard. Uh, draw a dark monster, you can reveal it. And so, oh, I send the dark monster to the graveyard, then draw one more card. Okay. I don't think it's necessary, though. Like, it's not required. It's just you can. Yeah, it's so. not required to show it to you, but if I yeah. want an extra draw. Noble man eater. Oh, of course not. Not that hard to guess. <laughs> Are you calling me predictable, <laughs> sir? <laughs> well, after dueling you for so long. <laughs> After seeing this deck a thousand times. Yes. And I'm going to end that there by, by bringing out my Dark Dust Spirit. By sacking my Vampire Dragon. I bring out Dark Dust Spirit, its ability activates, destroys all other monsters but itself. Alright. And then I and then I go to my end phase and it returns to my hand. That is a terrifying card. Yes, Dark Dust Spirit can just appear, destroy things, and return. <laughs> no, I don't, I don't care about its effect. I mean, just visually, it's fucking horrifying. Yeah, it kind of reminds me of Trigun from Teen Titans. I don't know who that is. You've never seen the show Teen Titans? I've seen a little bit of it, but I don't know the characters, or many of them. You said Trigun, and I got excited, and I'm like, that's like my favorite anime, but, yeah. Monster Reincarnation. Who are you reincarnating? Ah, oh, him. <laughs> Whoops. Banish. You've been banished. <laughs> Oh, damn. I summon my vampire lady. Vampire lady. Sick him. If you can't tell, I like vampires. <laughs> and the ladies. What was that? And the ladies. <laughs> that too. Vampire lady. Blood what the hell? Wow. <laughs> Who are you destroying? Mmm, good lady. No, I wasn't done with her yet. That's, that's creepy. So what if she's an undead monster that wants to suck my blood? She's still, <laughs> she's still, she's still hot. That's still terrifying. You know, they actually beat the character out in the GX series. That's not surprising. You didn't attack? Of course not. I'm gonna bring out my immortal ruler. Battle phase. I'm going to attack with immortal ruler. You know what I just realized? You didn't have what? to waste, you didn't have to waste that. Why? Your monster was stronger than mine. Stronger than a mortal ruler? Yeah, your monster gained 500. 
four, five, six, seven, oh. Well, oh well. <laughs> Oops. Uh, did I summon this turn? Yes, I did. Immortal Ruler, right? Yeah. You're already in your battle phase anyway. Well, if I had to summon it, I would summon it to my main phase too, but... Whoops, I didn't mean... Uh, uh, whatever. Hmm. The seal of Hori Calicos. It's going to steal my soul. How would that work in a match? I mean, it's supposed to steal your soul upon the loss of the duel. But if it's a match... What? What do you mean? The seal of Hori Calicos, when you loot in the anime, when you, lost a, when you lost the duel, it would steal your soul. But if it was a match... How did it save hmm. someone's soul? Would it have to wait to the end of the match? I activate the Book of Life. Oh, I pick one monster in my graveyard, Vampire Lord. And one monster what? in your grave. I special summon the vampire. The one I pick from your graveyard, I banish. And the one I banish is... There's not a lot of pickings there, huh? Man eater bug. Okay. Banish. Doesn't really matter. I only have one um, monster regenerate. Mm -hmm. Whatever. Blah, blah. Blah, 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 blah. Then I, oh, this goes to the grave, then I end my turn. Oh, you don't want to play? I don't want to, I really don't want to risk it, especially <laughs> Empire Lord on the field. Why is that? He's the key to my victory. And I'm not afraid to say that. <laughs> Okay, there's only 28 cards in my deck. What are the chances? A Silipiscu. Okay, cool. What? Reading its ability to make sure that uh, something I was planning it wouldn't affect. Okay. Decided not to attack, huh? Well. I'm gonna activate my dark monster. A dark monster with 1500 or less. And I choose. Decisions, decisions. I choose Plague Spreader Zombie. Can you find the card you're looking for? No, I can't. And how many cards do I have? I have seven. Uh, this goes to the grave. Come on, I have 26 cards. In my One of them has to be what I need. <laughs> Watch it be at the bottom. One, two, three, four, five. Damn it, and you're gonna pull out that damn man-eater bug now. 
and destroy the <laughs> And I don't know if I can bring him back or not. I've got a way to destroy all your monsters. Maybe I should keep this a secret, but you do know that if you, um... You do know that if you murder my Earthbound, your vampire goes bye-bye as well? Ah, it's side effect. Your opponent controls and it's a great time to damage your opponent for each monster. So it wouldn't matter either way. You know what? Screw it. I sacrifice my vampire lord mm -hmm. to bring up my dark dust spirit. Wait, what? As you know, when dark dust spirit is summoned, it destroys all other monsters on the field but itself. All of the face-up monsters on the field. Or all of the face-up, which means bye-bye immortal Esilopiscu. Okay. But because of Esilopiscu, you destroy my dark dust spirit before it can retreat to my hand. And you can take 800. 800. That seemed like a desperation move. I was at the point where it's like, does it matter? <laughs> I special summon Vampire Duke using the effect of Call of the Mummy. Can't risk it. <laughs> Come on, live a little. I am living. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna do that. Destroy my two monsters. Yep. No, we'll leave it there. I'm gonna... I'm gonna normal summon the CT to use his effect to banish him. To special summon my vampire lord. Ah, hmm. oh, Vampire Little would summon himself back anyway. Yeah, I just read that. I was rereading his effect. <laughs> oh, hmm. uh, Manny does an attack since you flip him. Oh. Well, that was last turn, so there. <laughs> Alright, fair enough. I don't... Hmm. I fail to see how your vampire lord is your ace in this. If I draw the right card, you'll see it. Oh. Alright, well, I'm gonna go ahead and risk it all. Nice. I was ex oh, didn't mean to do that. You were I was expecting that. I was expecting a what you call it, cylinder. I wouldn't risk a cylinder being so close to my ace, but <laughs> at the same time, 
I'm going to activate my Veil of Darkness, reveal him. Mm -hmm. He goes to the grave. Where'd he go? There he is. And then I get to draw. One, two, three, four, five, six. Activate Allure of Darkness. I draw two cards. And banish one monster, from, one dark monster from your hand. If you don't have any in your hand, send all cards in your hand to the. Oh God, that's rough. Uh, it says banish. Yeah. I banish you. <laughs> and then I set you. <laughs> I was really hoping, I was really, really hoping to draw what I needed. <laughs> You're about to attack my vampire lord, aren't you? And I lose a thousand. <laughs> the sad part is I could probably win this in a turn but I have a flair for the big finishers you know <laughs> And now you just screwed up my my possible big finishers. <laughs> Absolute Crusade is perfect for a zombie deck, huh? I guess. So I can traps be activated on the fly? Yeah, traps can be activated whenever. As long as they can be yeah. What are you destroying? The face down. Of course. <laughs> what was that? Target the diamond, negate the diamond, accept this card. Hmm. It's a reusable, it's a reu very reusable and reliable trap. <laughs> Oh, also, in our first match, mm -hmm. I probably could have survived a bit longer. I had a trap hole that I wasn't paying attention to. <laughs> I told you before, that always fucking happens to me. Well, I told you last time we talked, the trap holes are the ones that neither the player nor the opponent pay attention to. I always forget I have one. Now the damn thing is here. <laughs> God damn it. A little past when it's worth it. Yeah. Will this work? It started out with you trying to uh, get your perfect, your perfect scenario, and now I'm actually pushing uh, back a little bit. Yes, you are. I'm going to summon. I don't think I'll win, but I'm pushing back. Yeah, I'm going okay. to. I'm going to summon Plague Spreader Zombie. Oh, Plague Spreader. I think it's a pig sweater. I'm like, that's fucking gross. Flip. Fucking perspiration. Dude. Flip Dragon Zombie. Ugh. Dragon Zombie. That looks like Thousand Year Dragon, but dead. Uh, or what's the, what's the grown-up version of Baby Dragon? Thousand Dragon. Oh, okay. And oh, look, another one. Other Dragon Zombie, and then activate the power of Dark Marble. <laughs> to okay. send your summoned skull away. 
Uh, oh, there it is. I banish thee. <laughs> I banish thee. Then I then I tune plague sp plague spreader and dragons. Um, no, I do not. Okay. I flip poison mummy. You lose five hundred. Then I. Yeah, let's see if how I if I can do this right. I overlay dragon zombie with dragon zombie to overlay summon number forty eight shadow lich. Then I synchro summon using plague spreader zombie and poison zombie. To bring out my Doom Kaiser Dragon. For the record, that counts as a special summon. What? For the record, Doom Kaiser counts as a special summon. Hmm. I feel like that's what you want me to do. That's up to you if you want to use its ability. Yeah, sure. Alright, goodbye to Doom Kaiser. Hmm. Is that what you were waiting for? Your Shadow Lich? No. Oh. Have you still not found a thing in your deck? No, I found it, but I need Vampire Lord to summon it. Oh. I was hoping to use a strategy to summon it, but I need but now I'm not sure if I have it. Hmm. And I'm too scared of your five face dunk to attack you directly with Shadow Lich. <laughs> so I'm probably going to duck out. And that'll force the storm to make it. Swords of Revealing Light. The one thing that can vanquish zombies. <laughs> I guess I shouldn't have played around for my ace. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna set this. I'm gonna end. Although this does give me an idea how to use this deck. <laughs> Gonna end. Let's see, with your permission, can I get rid of one of the uh, chase downs? Yes. That could be a scary card. What? Flash the one you have? Flash of the Forbidden Spell. Oh yeah, I was waiting for you to show your... You were close, you were just one monster out of filling your zone, but I got Torrental Tribute anyway, so it doesn't matter. Is that why you asked about me filling my zone? What? Early, earlier in the door, you asked, are you going to fill your, spot, your zones up? <laughs> I'm going to sacrifice my number 48 to bring out Bill Blue. What the hell? Disturbing. Well, that's horrifying. Looks like something that occurs to cover the dog. Yes, it does. And I think I actually have a way to do this. <laughs> I use Eel Blood's ability to bring back my Vampire Lord. Then I sacrifice Vampire Lord using v to special summon my Vampire Genesis. And I, I finally got him out. <laughs> he was my ace in the hole.
I now end my turn. Can I get rid of a card on my side of the field? Sure. Why do you have that? Just in case. Because <laughs> this card, because I have a card that turns all of your monsters to zombies. Even in the graveyard. And then I have another hmm. card that lets me bring out zombies from either player's grave. I don't have any zombies. But I can turn your monsters into zombies. Hmm. Wait, what about your vamp Genesis is was your ace? Vampire Genesis uh, has an ability where you can discard a zombie, then target a zombie in the graveyard with a level less than the discarded zombie, and then special summon it. Plus, with its high attack power, it's virtual. It's really difficult to destroy unless you got something stronger than three thousand. Hmm. It's basically the strongest monster in my deck. Wow. Now, I have a strategy that could allow me... Oh, I have to banish the Vampire Lord. Hold on a minute. I have a strategy that could allow me to win, but at the same time, if you have a magic cylinder down there, I'll automatically mm -hmm. lose. <laughs> so I don't know what to do. Should I risk it all on an attack and hope I win? Or should I wait and see what happens? Let's let fate you could, decide. Are you going to deck out? What? You didn't choose Heads or Tails. Fate is against me. Oh shit! Why'd you do that? I was trying to... I was thinking about something and hit the wrong button. <laughs> I'm gonna bring out Armored Zombie. Armored Zombie attack this dude. Ill Blued attack this guy. Vampire Genesis attack this guy. Shit. <laughs> What's our timer at? 58 minutes. Yes! Activate Zombie World! Oh god. What the hell? Oh hey, my seal goes away. All monsters on the field and in every graveyard become zombie types. Neither player can tribute summon monsters except a zombie. Hmm. What would your obnoxious cook guardian look like as a zombie? I don't know. Himself, but green? <laughs> I guess. Alright, let now I think I'm gonna try and win this duel. It could backfire on me. But I activate overpowering eyes. And I use it. And I use it on armored zombie. Whoa! Oh. Huh. Wait, what? Oh, okay. All I right. couldn't use it on Ill Blood or Vampire Genesis. Right. I was I thought it said it gains that much. Nah. Then I attack you directly. 
Yeah. Oh, God. I mean, I, thought... I did have one, but it wouldn't have been worth it. Why not? Well, for, for your armored zombie, it wouldn't have been worth it in the first place. But you attacked with your vampire genesis anyway, and I wanted to do it, but I honestly just wanted it to be over. Ah, uh, I see. So you I could have I could have brought it into a third round. You should have. That would have been fun. Yeah. So now yeah. it's... Uh, Three, one, two. Yes, it is. Three, three wins me, two wins you, and a draw. Maybe next door. We can what? Maybe next week I'll even us out. Oh yeah. Uh, this was my. Uh, let me throw these away and I'll show you my hand. Why didn't I think of doing that? <laughs> Give me a minute. Re How do you reveal your hand? Under your deck. There. Oh, wow. Sakuritsu. I'm going to see what's in my deck real quick. Oh, you got to be kidding me. What happened? Take a look at this, bro. Let me show you this. What's going on? Uh, where's the show button? That was what's left of my deck. Summon the spirit, shadow ghoul, shadow vampire. I want. I wanted to. I was trying. I was wondering if I should hit you with shadow with uh, shadow ghoul. Because <laughs> do you know? Oh man! Effect? I was just ready. Jesus! And look how big my graveyard is. <laughs> Could you imagine the damage that would do? That would be crazy. All right, everybody. Well, I'm uh, ending this recording. Goodbye. Everybody must die. The end of Legion will rise. <laughs>